In this video, I will be talking about the domain and range of a function, specifically y equals to the square root of x minus 5. So without being so technical, the domain is simply the set of numbers we can plug into the equation for x. And I think it would be more easy to understand what I mean if we go through some examples. So let's consider when x equals to 4. We have 4 minus 5. If you evaluate that, it's the square root of negative 1. And if you put that into your calculator, you get an error. This is because in the real number system, we cannot take the square root of any number less than 0. So for example, the square root of negative 2 will come up with an error, the square root of negative 3 will come up with an error, the square root of negative infinity will come up, come up with an error. So for our domain, we have to say x minus 5 must be greater than 0 greater or equal to 0, because we can still take the square root of 0, it will still be 0. So if we solve this, it tells us that our x value must be greater than or equal to 5. If we look at the equation again, if we plug in 5, minus 5, we still get the square root of 0, so it still works. But if we go 4, it doesn't work anymore. If we go 6, we take the square root of that, 6 minus 5 is still the square root of 1, it will still work. That is why our domain for this function says that our x value can be greater than or equal to 5. For our range, we simply consider all the numbers this equation can produce for our y value, y greater than or equal to 0. This is because if we consider the square root again, our minimum value that we can plug in is 5 which will give us 5 minus 5 equals to 0 so that we can't get any number less than 0 so that's why our range for y is all the numbers greater than or equal to 0 so over here I graphed our function y equals to the square root of x minus 5 as you can see for all our x values we are only able to use the number 5 and onwards we cannot use any number less than 5 if we look at the y values we can't achieve a number less than 0 because if we keep zooming out we see that the graph of the function never goes below 0 so we can't get any y values that are negative and we can't get any x values that are less than 5 